Good afternoon. Happy holidays. It's closer to Christmas and today I plan to finish up everything that I need to do. A few little gifts just to pick up still. Uh, get the menu items together. It's Saturday. Christmas is Tuesday. So again, I plan to do it. So do you guys have people within your areas? Like we have a guy who is on corners in the area and he dances. I should have turned it around to show you, but you know, I don't necessarily like to share what other folks are doing. But anyway, he stands on the corner and he dances and does his little stuff. Sometimes he'll have on costumes. Sometimes, like today, he was just in a, um, a little track suit. <laughs> kind of funny, but he does be jamming with his little dance moves. Anyway, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So hopefully I'll finish everything I need to finish up today. Um, if I don't, it's like, you still have Sunday? But I sat myself down this morning after drinking my keto coffee and organized my list, went through stuff that I had at home already to know, okay, what have you bought for people already? So I can be clear. So now I have a plan. I have a list of things. So looking to be successful today with and being done by the end of the day. Hopefully your guys' holidays are coming together nicely. The plans. Um, what are y'all cooking for Christmas dinner? We normally have traditional, you know, the ham, the greens, uh, mac and cheese, all that kind of stuff. But this year, we are not having all of that. We are still going to have a honey-baked ham. That's one of my grandson's favorites. So he has asked for honey-baked ham still. But we're actually going to do lasagna. I'm going to do a, um, you know, just a regular lasagna. And I'm going to do, so one with ground beef. Then my daughter asked about, hey, what about a lasagna with like chicken and spinach and white sauce? So that's going to be a new one for me. And for them, I'm going to, I'm actually going to make the lasagna regular with, you know, noodles and all that stuff. So we're regular. No baked lasagna noodles though. I may do it. I may, I may do a video for that. So it'll be regular lasagna, uh, regular beef lasagna, ground beef lasagna, and then a lasagna with chicken. Debating if it's going to be ground chicken or if it might just be you know the cube chicken pieces in it i think it may be cube chicken we'll see what i find when i'm in kroger's but if they got enough ground chicken for me i'll do it with ground chicken but i think the cube chicken may be fun more fun with the spinach and the white sauce and all the cheeses we'll see what we end up with anyway so we're gonna have lasagna i'm gonna do a keto um loaded cauliflower casserole for myself so i think i'm gonna load that up with some um cheese and some green onion and probably some bacon i think the recipe also calls for a little bit of cream cheese and probably some um heavy whipping cream so i'll have that and then of course i'll have salad so there'll be more than enough for me to eat i'll have, there'll be ham um, and be nice, easy, simple. So that'll be Christmas dinner that we'll do at my daughter's. And then at my house, we'll be at my house for Christmas Eve. And we always have, you know, for Christmas Eve evening, we come together. I think we're going to do some games. I think we're going to do game night. If we don't even do a Christmas Eve, it'll be Christmas. Uh, but for Christmas Eve, we have normally like nacho, taco type bar thing, plus, you know, some wings. So easy breezy finger type food. So that'll be me. That'll be what we'll be doing. So I'm excited for it. Um, I love Christmas time. Even though we don't have snow, which is fine for me. It's like 32 degrees today. And I personally do not miss the snow. <laughs> it can snow a tiny, tiny bit on Christmas Eve, like after midnight, like maybe like one or two in the morning, the snow can start coming down. And then Christmas Day, by noon, it can be melted and gone. And that will be fine for me. But yeah, we would like to have 
maybe a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of a white Christmas. So that will be good for me. <laughs> We got Luther at Christmas time playing. And y'all know I don't own the rights to the music, but if you hear it in the background, just enjoy. It's the holiday. Christmas music. And it's Luther. We love Luther, right? Big Luther, little Luther, in between Luther. No matter. We love Luther. <laughs> um, as I've been listening to different holiday music, and I guess you notice it every year, some of the Christmas songs are like really, really sad, right? It's like, uh-uh. You know, you be jamming because you be liking the groove, the beat. But if you listen to some of them little words, you're like, oh, wow, that's kind of sad. But it's still a very happy time. Um, I get excited by Christmas just because. So it's a good thing. Uh, and I am going to pick up a couple of gifts right now from somebody. I got to pick these gifts up and then I will be out and about shopping. I need to get some gift cards for a couple people. <coughs> Maybe and a couple other little gifts. I don't want to say what the gifts are because the people who they're for may watch and I don't want them to know what they got coming. The gift card thing is for my handsome prince, my little grandson. So, so Grammy's handsome prince has some uh, gift cards coming as well as the normal grandparent gift to the grandkids. Underwear, t-shirts, socks, pajamas. Right? That's what you get from grandparents. That's what grandparents get those kids, okay? Don't be asking me for no PlayStation and Xbox and all that little stuff. Even though for my grandson, who's 12, he was asking for stuff like gaming computer and um, GoPro camera and um, paintball guns and I don't know, loaders and equipment for this, that, and the other. I'm like, ooh. Stuff I don't know nothing about, but trust me, he had a list. He also likes to ask for land. He wants his mama to buy a whole bunch of land. He asked for those um, like four-wheelers and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. He definitely has a little list of good stuff. What kind of stuff do the kids ask for? Again, I have the grandson who's 12, so I am so far removed from that. I kept hearing about these LOL dolls, which I LOL, I'm assuming to still laugh out loud. So for me, do the dolls laugh out loud? What do they do? I don't know. But um, anyway, I just wanted to pop in on this Saturday before Christmas say hey 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 share a little bit of christmas joy to the masses thank you guys for watching and um continue to have a great great day all right peace out i am sure i will be back later on and if i do come back be sure to tune in and check me out all right folks all right listen to a little bit of luther before we go at christmas time Enjoy just a little bit more. Merry, Merry Christmas. Have a great day, folks. Peace. Woo-wee! Okay. Just finished up my second stop of the morning. I was in Target yesterday and they didn't have Christmas music playing, which I was surprised about. But the store I just came out of for my second stop did have Christmas music, which was kind of cool. It helps to lighten the mood because the lines were off the hook. So, you know, like when you're in a parking lot and you backing up and, and I know park, parking lot etiquette, but we don't see the people, right? The people see you and even though they see you, I was already in my backup mode. They keep walking. And again, I've got some etiquette. I know that, ooh, people are probably about to fight over this parking spot. Because, oh, okay, they letting them go. It was a car on either side waiting for my spot. But the person who was to my right yielded to the person who was to my left. 
But um, anyway, I think having the Christmas music playing is a definite, oh, shucks, is a definite good thing. Y'all travel with nuts in the car in case you get hungry? Yeah, I do. They probably frozen because they've been in here forever. Um, yeah, getting in and out these parking lots ain't no joke. But I'm about to make it happen. Uh, but I, all that just to say, I think stores having a Christmas music playing is a good thing because it um, gives us a holly jolly mood. Because the way that line was set up, I was like, oh my God. I didn't even have a, a basket or anything to put my stuff in. So I ended up getting um, a little basket, a little holder literally off the shelf in the store to put the stuff in that I was carrying. So I was just getting some little bitty stuff right quick and fast. But it's Christmas time, y'all. Let's see what happens with the next stop. How many more stops I have? One, two. Two more stops, then there's a dinner date let's see who we got playing on Ohio players happy holidays part one all this Christmas music going Ooh, this traffic is no joke yes it is definitely beginning to look a lot like Christmas with all these crowded parking lots and stores but it's a good time but Remember the reason for the season. In my world, the reason for the season is the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So that's what I'm celebrating and keeping it in the forefront for me. But 100% love the season, the gift given, and all that it represents. Again, knowing if you're a believer, not necessarily the day Jesus was born, but it is the time of year where we sit back and we acknowledge that so let me make sure I get that out most definitely the reason for the season okay y'all okay y'all and then you know when you're out and about and just people watch happy that we don't have snow even though it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas or feel a lot like Christmas I got my water y'all I got a cheese stick, so I'm like ready for the um, elements, okay? If I get hungry, I got the cashews to nibble on, I got some water to drink on, got a cheese stick, and I got some pickles if I need them. Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. All right, y'all, until the next stop, Let's see what's next for me. I need to go to Kroger. I need to go to Alta. I think I'm going to go to Alta. I really need to go in Macy's, but I don't. I don't think I want to play in Macy's. Do y'all guys have Macy's? We used to have Hudson's. And um, Hudson's, whatever it did, closed, merged, transitioned to become Macy's. So that's what we have here now. And then, which used to be like, I know in Chicago, they didn't have... Chicago did have Macy's maybe when we had Hudson's. Maybe they didn't. They had, was it like Carson Peary Scott for the Chicago people? What did y'all have? I was a little girl and I would go and um, visit with my cousin Doris and her husband Charles in Chicago as a kid. I was the only girl, so I got to do other little stuff, not be with all the boys always. But anyway, I would get to go and spend time with um, Doris and Charles. And she would take me downtown, downtown Chicago, and our big thing was um, Carson Peary Scott. She was a registered nurse, and um, she had a little part-time job, and uh, her part-time job was so she could earn bubblegum money, and so that's what I would start calling my little extra side job income. It was her bubblegum money. And with her bubblegum money, she would buy different fragrances and other little, just little nice stuff for herself. So as a kid, you know, she had kind of exposed me to that and to wonderful fragrances. So we would go, whenever I would be there, we would have our trip to Carson Perry Scott, Carson Perry Scott maybe, to look at what was what. That's a nice memory. 
Thank you, Cousin Doris. She passed away some years ago. She um, ended up with cancer, and she passed away some years ago. But um, she was like the big sister cousin. Her mom and my mom were sisters. <laughs> but it's a good memory. Thanks, Doris. <laughs> okay, y'all, until the next stop. Alright, coming up to my third stop, and once again, a parking lot that is on jam, so guess what I'm going to do? Park as soon as I see a spot, and walk wherever I need to go. Ooh, here go one right towards the front coming. Oh, was she parking? She was parking. I should have took the other one. All good, though. Tis the season. Tis the season. I was just listening to A Silent Night, the version by um, The Four Tops. And it had Aretha Franklin in it. I don't think I'd ever heard that one before. So I was kind of like, hey now, way to go. Okay, I can't tell if people, okay, they were parking. You know, you see the little headlights and it's like you coming out or you coming in. All good, though. All good, though. And if I walk, it's going to help me get my steps in, right? 100% help me get my steps in. I've been trying to do so much better with my steps and all as I'm trying to continue to get better weight-wise. And the store that I just came from in my second stop is actually over here too. And I wasn't sure if it was one here, so I kind of sort of could have came here and did everything. But it's okay. It's okay. Again, more time to be out and about and people watch. got a spot not too far in between both places I'm trying to go to yay all right y'all Ooh, I don't want to mm -mm, I don't want to be this close because I don't want the folks hitting my car door when they come in and out so um I'm moving from here we'll be shopping soon though Ray Charles, the little drummer boy. I love the little drummer boy. Come on, Ray Charles. Let me turn it down. I do not own the rights. Kept time rumble bum bum. <sighs> yeah, I love the season. I am being very successful with all of my errands that I'm having to do today success at every stop that I've gone to. Now, I'm on to meet folks for di for dinner. An early dinner. But, um, I'm excited. We're on our way to a restaurant, so maybe you'll get to see a couple extra folks. Okay, I do not own the rights. Hopefully we can see it though still and hear it. Me and my drum. Me and my drum. 
Come on, Ray Charles. <laughs> this holiday soul Christmas is all right. I'll turn it down so we're not flagged and we can still enjoy out here in these streets for the Christmas holiday. Again, another day in the life of my reality, y'all. It's what I do. Me, myself, and I. And y'all. It's a very good thing. <laughs> All right, that was the end of the song. But when I turned the car on, it was on. And in case you didn't know or haven't heard, favorite Christmas song, one of, is definitely little drummer boy all the different variations and everything i don't think there's one that i've heard that i didn't like ah they got luther on again y'all we've been hearing luther my favorite things <laughs> so again thanks for being a part of a day in the life of me as i'm just out and about Doing my own little solo dolo stuff. Shopping and doing and being. Yeah. Couple more things to do. I think after my little dinner thing, I'm probably going to go home. Because I want to cook. I want to cook some soup. A keto friendly soup. So after dinner, I'll probably go on home instead of making the last stop. I got to check out my Kroger coupons. Do y'all do the Kroger coupon stuff? So I need to check out the Kroger coupons and see um, what's what to ensure I get the best deals. Um, you know, take advantage of it. Oh, yeah. But I'm glad that I've been successful in all of my stops. I've had a very, very productive um, afternoon. I have. So, let's get ready for dinner. I was for real jamming so tough to Luther and my favorite things. I straight past the restaurant. Thankfully, I realized that I passed the restaurant before <laughs> I was too far down the road. Just a couple blocks detour. But that's all right. It allows me to finish here in the end of the song. So I've made it to the restaurant. And I'm joined by one of the folks already. Let's see. <laughs> so me and my daughter Jay Lee and we're waiting for um, a couple more folks to join us but um successful shopping now it's time to eat or something yeah I was out and about doing stuff. stuff finish up my Christmas stuff and it's been a very productive day so we've been in the different places for shopping and we've been listening to um, Christmas music Lord. a whole lot of Luther Ray Charles a little drummer boy what's my favorite Christmas song I was just Michael Jackson beating the song. Um, it's Little Drummer Boys. Any version of Little Drummer Boy. I don't, you know, I don't like Christmas music. I know, music. yeah. An anomaly in the world. She does not like Christmas music at all. But anyway, we'll see what's going on. She just got here. So this is me and my baby girl, Jay Lee. If you don't know, follow her at Jay Lee's Corner. She does all kind of reviews and other stuff, so... Kind of foolishness, all kind of foolishness. All kind of foolishness. But it's good foolishness. And it's good stuff overall, right? Oh, yeah, it's entertaining. <laughs> okay, so now we got to check. Well, she knows what she's getting, but I've got to study the menu to determine what I'm going to order. So, um, until later, folks. <laughs> I 
I am good and full after that dinner. Did y'all see that picture? Shrimp and salmon and green beans and broccoli. And I had a salad and a whole bunch of water. And now as you see, it's got dark and it's cold, even though it's still 32 degrees. I think it was maybe 32 degrees earlier, but it feel like chilly. It feel cold, but now I'm on my way home. And I gotta cook something. But I'll cook to have it for, um, it almost be prep. I'll have soup for, uh, I guess tomorrow and even on Christmas Eve. Because I have to cook. I took some of the, uh, some of the little meat off. So I've got to get that done. But, um, Thanks for going along with me today as I ran errands and shopped and ate and listened to lots of Christmas music each time in the car. They just had Mary J. Blige with Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Now we got Donald Lawrence, Carol of the Bells. And I don't own the rights, folks. But again, just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Appreciate the support. And um, look forward to sharing more with you. Have a great day. Until next time, peace.